So friends, we have learned the concept of subtraction. Now, following the rules of subtraction, we are going to solve our sums. So are you all ready? Okay, so here is your first sum. The question says, dash is taking away some objects from a given collection. It is taking one number away from the other. Okay? And the options given are A addition, B subtraction, C multiplication, and D division. Fine. The question asks us, dash is taking away some objects from a given collection. So if you remember, I told you the de definition of subtraction as a quantity is given and we take away something from it. Right. So what is the answer children here? Good. It is option B, subtraction. Because it is taking one number away from the other. And the balance we which we get it, that is called as difference. Okay. Shall we move to the next one? Here is your next question. The question says, the result obtained after subtraction is called as dash and the options are a my new end b subtrahend c difference and d sum So what is the answer here? The result obtained after subtraction which means the end result which we get. So what is that end result called as? Is it my new end? No. Is it subtrahend? No. Is it difference? Yes. So the answer which we get after doing a subtraction is called as my difference. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. So here is your next question. The question says, dash is the number that is to be subtracted from. And your options are A, my new end. B, subtrahend, C, difference, and D, sum. So, dash is the number that is to be subtracted from. For example, if I say 25 minus 10, is equal to 
15. So can you tell me what is this? This is the difference. That is what we have done in the previous question, right? So dash is the number that is to be subtracted from. So this, what is this number? This is called as my minuend. This is my subtrahend. And this is the difference. So what will be the answer? Very good. It will be minuend. So if you remember I told you, right? Minuend is the greater number. Subtrahend is the number that is lesser than the minuend. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. So here is your next question. The question says, pick out the odd one out. Okay. And the options are A minus, B less, C difference, and D sum. Okay. So, can you tell me which is the odd one out, children? Minus, less, difference, sum. Yes, think and tell me which will be the right answer. Very good, it will be sum. Can you tell me the reason why? Yes, the difference, uh, the sum is the answer here. The reason is because minus, less, difference, all these are rela related to the concept of subtraction, right? Where will we, we will be reducing the number, where we will be subtracting the number. So, all these concepts are used in subtraction, whereas sum is used in addition. That's why option D sum will be the answer. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. So, here is your next question. The question says, find the minute end. And the question is, something minus 5 is equals to 45. You need to find what is the minuend. And your options are A50, B40, C15 and D100. Okay. So, I always said that minuend is the greatest number and the subtrahend is the lesser number, right? So, if we have to cross verify whether the answer, the difference amount is correct or not, how we will do it? We will just add the difference with the subtrahend in order to get the minuend. Fine. So, now we will add and see. So, let's see here. 45 plus 5. What is the answer? It is 50, right? Now, verify your answer and see. 50 minus 5. Is it giving me the answer 45? Yes. So, my answer will be A 50. Clear? So, whenever you need to find the minuend, you can add the difference with the subtrahend to get your answer. Clear? Shall we move ahead children? 